Mavira Forest is the biggest forest in central Uganda, covering 306 square kilometers, and since 1932 the forest has been protected as a forest reserve. Located in Buikwe district, over the years Mavira has been under threat due to increased human activity in the range of illicit cutting down of trees for timber, unregulated hunting of animals and birds, and the growing of sugarcane. With the forest under threat, 60 species of animals, 312 species of trees, 315 species of birds, 97 species of moths, and 215 butterfly species that inhabit Mavira forest also face the potential threat of extinction. The most distinct among the creatures that live in Mavira is the endemic Lophosibas ugande, also known as the Uganda manga bee. It is considered to be one of the endangered species in the world and believed to be slightly different from the crested manga bee found in Western Africa and the grey-cheeked manga bee found in the forests of West Africa, mainly in Cameroon and Gabon. On our journey to Mavira, we embark on a quest to find the manga bee and to also catch a glimpse of the endangered monkey. If you're tracking it and then you happen to see it, it can give you time, can sit for some time and then you look at it, ob observe their behaviors, eh? they have interesting calls. So when they are making calls, well, for example, when they, the kids are screaming for help, so you can know, you actually you can know that each and every person, each and every individual can need help. After walking close to three hours trying to track the manga bee, we failed to see it but ran into the red-tailed monkeys, one of the three monkey species found in Marira Forest. We watched them make rounds as they glide with ease on the trees. Do they move in groups? Yeah, they move in groups. Mm. And then in a group you can find like 35 individuals, 20. We set off again further into the plush green echo furnished forest with unwithered determination for more hours trying to find the shy monkey. We stroll past River Musamia towards Griffin Falls on a perilous journey uphill and it is here that exhaustion sets in. We have been walking for at least 12 kilometers. At this point we still have not seen the Uganda manga be on our environmental journey to discovery and after resting for a few minutes we call it quits and decide to head back to camp to prepare for the zipline, which is our last and only hope. Now we're fully dressed and geared up to go for ziplining, another activity that you'll find in Mavira Forest. Ziplining helps you see the forest cover and also some of the different species that are found here in Mavira Forest. The Uganda manga bee is one particular monkey that we are looking forward to see. The Mavira zip line is connected to six trees which are as high as 18 to 30 meters. This activity that attracts local and international tourists is not for the faint-hearted as it can easily give you chills. <laughs> Luckily, after moving from tree to tree, we finally see a tribe of Uganda manga bees hanging around. We try not to scare them off as we focus on them as they chatter and move from tree to tree. At this point in time, we find that we have tried to accomplish what we set out to find. <laughs> Um, it's been that big of an impact on me. I never thought I would climb trees this high in Uganda and have this kind of experience here. Well, I mean, definitely, yes, it should be protected because not only did we come for zip lining, we got to see monkeys just a few trees away from us. We get to be in this beautiful area and all that has made this much more of a worthwhile experience for me and definitely we should protect it. So why is the Uganda manga be so special and why should it be protected and conserved? Studies have shown that it is actually an endemic subspecies of that, uh, of, of that animal. So in other words, 
we can only find, find that subspecies in that area. We need to protect the jewel. We need to protect the uniqueness of Uganda. If we know that this is an endemic species for Uganda, why can't we protect our habitat? Why can't we protect the habitat of that, uh, of that species? Because the more it gets degraded, because they live in relatively intact areas, the more it gets degraded, the more the forest becomes less favorable for its existence, and we are likely to lose uh, that species. And as you said, you indicated to it, it is only found in that area. Sohel Mugabe, NTV Green.